this machine is the Crack Pro 125 heated hose and it has the uh, air compressor on it also. First thing to do is check engine oil and then the radiator coolant level, condition of the hoses. Turn the key to the start position. Three lights come on. When the middle light goes off, then go ahead and crank the engine over. Go to the throttle, pull the throttle all the way out because we're running the air compressor. Now turn the air compressor on. Turn on the main power to the control box, AC power, and put the pump and agitator in the forward positions. We've already preheated the machine, so now we're going to add blocks to get the proper level. And notice he places the block on the lid and just pushes the lid forward, keeping his face away from the opening. This prevents the operator from getting splashed with molten material. He now has depressed the agitator lid switch so that the agitator will start to turn to get the blocks moving through the material. So the decal is showing us uh, too low of a level, a good level, and then what we call the sweet spot is where you want to try and have the machine filled to at all times. So a box of material is approximately five gallons of liquid and this machine is a 125 gallon machine. He has depressed the switch lever again to move the blocks through the uh, liquid. Releasing the switch stops the agitator. Now it's engaged again with the lid closed. Now it's time to clean out the cracks with the air compressor. This is a 100 foot hose on a retractable reel. So with the air compressor running, you'll notice the guide on the end of the, uh, the uh, blowpipe there makes for easy cleaning of the cracks. You will notice that the white interlock light has come on. This indicates that all three temperature controllers have met their temperatures. The pump will now rotate in forward and the agitator will automatically come on. So now we're ready to start applying. Uh, he's released the counterbalance hose boom. Brought the wand out. Notice that he did not twist the hose. So now depressing the switch on the wand will pump material down to the applicator shoe. And you will notice how easily it glides along the surface. He has released the switch to stop the flow material. He then judges how much material is in the applicator head, pushes the switch again to start the pump back up. So a good operator will constantly do this uh, throughout the day so that you know he doesn't overflow the shoe or run out of material. So now we're done applying. We'll put the wand back up into the holder. Notice again that the hose was not kinked. Attach the travel chain and place the hose in the trough for travel. He has turned the material pump in reverse. The pump will automatically come on. It sucks the material left in the hose out. Now the uh, AC power is turned off. The switch is turned to neutral and the main power is shut off. Air compressor is turned off. Throttle is returned back to idle position. And the engine is shut off.